Hello everyone, and let's check out another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game, White is Howard Stanton, and his opponent is a player with no name. And this game was played in 1841 in London, England. Let's check out how this game went on. Howard Stanton starts the game with playing e4, e5, and we have the king's gambit. The typical opening of the Romantic era of chess. Capturing the pawn, e takes on f4, developing the knight, g5, bishop to c4. And the standard attacking move, attacking the knight, g4. Howard Stanton is not defending the knight, and he castled. Sacrificing the knight at move 5, and black happily captured the knight, g takes on f3. Queen takes on f3, developing the queen, sacrificing the pawn, capturing the pawn happily, and then d3. For the quick attack, Howard Stanton is sacrificing unnecessary pieces for attacking his opponent relentlessly. After d3, we have bishop to h6, knight to c3, c6, and bishop takes on f4 by Stanton, capturing the pawn. For the first time, he played a more sensible looking move. We have queen to d4, this is check, moving the king, and then capturing the bishop, bishop takes on f4. Stanton didn't capture it back, when his material was down. Stanton played, rook from a to e1, checking the king, blocking with the knight, and then rook to e4. Attacking the queen and the bishop. Queen to g7, defending the queen. And Stanton captured the bishop with the queen, not with the rook. And this looked like a blunder, because black played d5, forking the bishop and the rook. What now? Howard Stanton captured the pawn, bishop takes on d5, c takes on d5. And now maybe you're expecting that, Stanton should capture the pawn with the knight, attacking the pinned knight, and at the same time, attacking on c7. But Stanton announced the hunting season, the king hunting season, and he played. Rook takes on e7 by Stanton, not capturing the pawn, but attacking the king with the rook. What a move. He is also sacrificing the exchange. What an epic move by Stanton, capturing the rook, accepting the sacrifice, but then attacking the king, knight takes on d5, this is check, we have king to e6, going to the south, but let's check out the other possibilities, after capturing the pawn with the knight, if king to f8, then queen to d6, and basically black is getting checkmated, king to f8, and then queen to d8, check, mate, there is no defense. And what happens if, let's say, king to d8, then this time we have queen to c7, this is check, king to e8, and queen to e7, check, mate. So this is why, after knight takes on d5, we have king to e6, going to the south, and then queen to e4, check, king to d7, Queen to e7, king to c6, queen to c7, and capturing the knight, and c4 by Stanton, throwing everything to his opponent, king to d4, going to the south, and then queen to d6, this is check again, king to e3, and then queen to f4, check, king takes on d3, and then rook to d1, by Stanton, and black resigned because black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. And let me show you the possible continuation. There is two possible scenarios. One is king to c2, and then queen to d2, checkmate. The other possibility is king to e2, and then queen to d2, once again, checkmate. And black is getting checkmated, whatever he does. There is no defense. What an incredible king hunting by Stanton. He checkmated the king in the second rank.
what a gay by Stanton sacrificing the exchange instead of capturing the boat with the knight, hunting the king and attacking the king there is no defense for black and after rook to d1 black resigned a typical attacking chess game from the romantic era of chess and thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye